Our next guest is an Oscar-nominated actress you know from Little Women, and soon you will know her as the spy-slash-assassin Yelena Belova in Black Widow. It comes to theaters and Disney Plus premiere access on July 9th. Say hello to Florence Pugh. Hi, Florence. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. You're in London, I understand. I am. It's night-night time. How does it work when you're in London? Do you have to stay with your family, or do you stay in a, a hotel? Well, because I've been away from them for so long, I, I usually always go back to my family. Do you yeah, sleep in, like, I your go. old room, your, your childhood yeah, bed? Yeah, I do, and there's all my old teenager pictures up, and... Oh, they kept no, it's, it it's all, quite huh? nice. Oh, that's yeah, nice. It's did. the worst when you come back home and then... Like, my mother just almost immediately converted my room to her office. <laughs> well, no, no, what happens in my family is there's usually, like, an additional animal in the house. Oh, really? So, like an actual yeah, animal? Like my, oh. No, my, my, my dad is really good at homing animals out of the blue, and so when I came back this time, there was a cockerel living at the bottom of my stairs called Houdini. That like a chicken? Was just living in the house. Yeah, a chicken. And why was the chicken's name Houdini? Because <laughs> he always escapes. <laughs> oh, I see. You put little yeah. chicken-sized handcuffs on uh, on Houdini yeah. and see if he can get out. Oh, yeah, all right. Exactly so, that. <laughs> is there? Uh, so that's the new animal living in your house. And are you sharing a a coop? Yeah, yeah. I share with the hens, <laughs> me and the cockerel. <laughs> Last time you were here was right. What was it? Right after you got the nomination, Oscar nomination for Little yeah, Women, yeah. and you were saying <laughs> that you were going to bring your parents. Your parents <laughs> would be your plus two. And uh, did you bring your parents to the show? I brought both of them. They both came, which I didn't think that that was going to be a possibility. And they both found a way to come, which was amazing. And how did that go? I think you were, as I recall, you are a little concerned. I was concerned only because both of them wanted to come. And they're both very big characters. And, and I didn't right. know how to tell them that I only had one ticket. But they both managed to come, and it ended up being the week of their entire lives, and we still talk about it to this day. Oh, really? Oh, did you go to the parties and all that stuff afterwards? They're just pure havoc. They're like, <laughs> it was like wrangling toddlers <laughs> the entire week. I was more of the wrangler than they were, um, so that was uh, an experience. But yeah, we went to all the parties. Do they stay together, or did they, did they divide and conquer? Oh, no, 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 they, they, they go into a party and then they just separate and then they come back with as many friends uh, on each other. They basically, like, bet to each other how many cool people they met. Ah. And on one of the first parties that I went to, I hadn't seen my mum in a bit, so I went to go and find her and I saw that she was chatting to Kate Hudson. And I went up to her and I was like, hey, mum, just checking you're OK. And she turned to me and she was like, what? And I was like, I'm just, I'm just checking that you're OK. She was like, well, I'm talking to Kate Hudson. I was like... Oh. I can see that, sorry. I'll just back <laughs> away then. Because <laughs> she knows All the, right. <laughs> the real message is you're checking to see if Kate Hudson is OK, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what about dad? Who did he get a hold of? Well, OK, so first of all, my dad had, like, an ongoing romance. Well, it was more in his head, but ongoing romance with Renee Zellweger. Oh. And he was, like, just totally in love with her. And <laughs> she ended up remembering him from the BAFTAs. She remembered him on Oscars night and went up to my mum and said, can I just say, you have such a wonderful husband. And this entire time, we had all thought that he'd been making it up, that he was friends with Renee Zellweger. <laughs> and my mom was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> do they drink yeah, at these have, parties? Do they, do they have oh, a few? Oh, what do you think, Jimmy? They are parties. They go out and they make memories. <laughs> <laughs> no, OK, OK. No, but this is, OK, this is the best one. So basically, on... <laughs> <laughs> on Oscars night, we went to the Madonna party and it was just like absolutely amazing. I had my parents, they went off and did their own thing. And my dad has this habit of just befriending everyone, anyone and everyone. And then he always gives either my number out to them or says that like, I should go and see them on their Sunday lunch or something. So I'm always like, oh no, like who is he befriended and who are we now <laughs> like tied to for the weekend. So all night long, my dad keeps on coming up to me and like, Florence, Florence, I really want you to meet my friend. And I was like, just one second, Dad, I'm dancing with Jennifer Lawrence. And then, like, he would come back up to me uh, an hour later, be like, Flossie, Flossie, I really want you to meet my friend. And I'm like, ha, oh, one second, I'm chatting to, I don't know, someone else who's incredible. And then finally, I was in the loo, and my dad 
ambushed me and just like <laughs> ambushed, ambushed. <laughs> and he just grabbed me and he goes, Flossie, I want you to meet my friend Noel. He spins me around and it's Noel Gallagher. And I look at my dad. I'm like, Dad, that's not your friend. That's Noel Gallagher. You <laughs> just met him. <laughs> like, so that's my dad. And then my mum went missing for hours. My mum was missing and I was starting to get a bit worried about her. So I was like, OK, I should probably go and figure out where mum is. And I keep on asking everyone. I asked my stylist, Rebecca, she was there. She was like, oh, no, she's fine. I just saw her over there. I was like, OK, phew. My mum suddenly comes crawling, like, from somewhere. She's holding onto banisters and doors. And I'm like, Mama, are you OK? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'm just... And I'm like, what happened? And she goes, no, no, I'm just... I've been hanging out with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. That, that yeah. doesn't happen to everyone's mom, that's for sure. <laughs> no, so I literally had to grab them both and then leave. It was like, come on, kids, we're going home now. Fun is done. <laughs> <laughs> the roles have reversed. All right, well, let's yes, get down exactly. to business here. I know you can't say much about this movie, Black Widow. What can yeah. you say about your character? <sighs> She has really cool ponytails. She has cool That's ponytails. That's what I can say. She's yeah. a spy. She also, she, we, yeah, we she's know that. a spy. She's an, she's an assassin. She's a sister figure to Scarlet. She's pretty gobby. Um, she's really good at butterfly knives. That was a trick that I I, I was really happy to learn. OK. Um, what else do you want to know? She Whatever is, you want to tell us, I want to know. Yeah. We don't know me, anything. I can't tell you anything. I'm okay. just like. All right. I'm well, let's look at a mind. clip then, and then we'll um, we'll gather our thoughts. Here we go. Okay. Why do you always do that thing? Do what? That thing you do when you're fighting. And the like the this this thing that you do when you whip your hair when you're fighting with the arm and the hair, and you do like a fighting pose. It's a yeah. It's a fighting pose. You're a total poser. I'm not a poser. <laughs> That is really funny. <laughs> this one looks good. This looks like a good one. How come you don't yeah. have like a cool superhero name? You need a like a nickname, you know? I was actually thinking this the other day. I was like, Yelena, how could I shorten that? And then I was like, Yelly. <laughs> and then I realized that that wasn't cool. <laughs> I like Yelly. You're the loudest superhero in the world. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Yelly coming down the street. <laughs> well, it's great to see you. I can't wait to see Black Widow comes to theaters Aww. at Disney Plus premiere access on July 9th. Florence Pugh. Thank you, Florence. <laughs> Take care. We'll be back with okay, Touche. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.